Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video, I would like to talk a bit about the AMD's recently announced A620 chipset motherboards. Now everything is fine, however, I do have some concerns as I've seen in their press release. It mentions enabling users to harness the power of the Ryzen 7000 series processor lineup with the features and performance of the AM5 platform, which is true but it lacks some key details of which I would like to highlight in this video. Now, some of you may not know exactly what I'm doing right now. So just to give you a heads up, um, in 2021, I joined ASRock. So I am currently the person that's in charge of the operations in Malaysia and my job title is officially the country sales manager. And with this position, I get a lot of information before uh, things come into the market so I get information from say like AMD and Intel and I have to plan ahead on what's to come to the market you know product positioning and all that and with that information I get to know a lot of things uh, down the road before anyone else so there are many things I cannot share but now that this A621 this A621 the board details are announced I would like to share out something before the board lands, at least you know what to expect. Now let's begin with what I want to share to you about the A620 motherboard. And bear in mind, um, once in a while you see my eye looking there because I have notes on the table. And what I'm sharing to you is not confined just to Ashrock brand because this applies to all the A620 chipsets motherboard across all the brands because you should know some things before you plan out your purchase. So the first thing I would like you to know is that the A620 is unlike the X670 or B650E or non-E. The A620 has limited CPU support. And the second thing you need to know is that even in the A620 chipset motherboards, there are variations. And with this variation, it actually affects the CPU support. So let's move to the third point, which is the CPU support itself. The, there's a higher spec and actually lower spec model. So the higher spec A620 will support everything except for the 170 watts CPU such as the 79, 7950X and the 7900X. And on the lower end of the spectrum, which is the entry level A620 motherboard, typically you see these boards are the ones that do not come with VRM heatsink. Now these models support only the non-X CPU, meaning 7600, 7700, and 7900. These are the 65 watts CPU. And all this is just based on the information I have uh, right now. Whether or not in future, these things will have a BIOS update to change whatever thing is beyond my technical knowledge and beyond what I can predict. But what I'm presenting to you is what I know as of now. So you get to take note all of these things before you head out to buy your intended motherboard. And I'll give you a table here for your reference. This is the Astro model reference, of course. I do not have the brands for the details for the other brands, but based on the ones I have over here, you can have an idea of um, what to expect and whether or not the models from other brands enter the market again is beyond my knowledge. But like I said, this is for you to know so that you don't end up purchasing something that does not support uh, or, or purchasing something that does not support the CPU that you wanted to use. For example, you might be thinking getting the cheapest motherboard to use with the 7700X and it does not support, that's going to be troublesome for you. Now let's talk about which one to buy. I wouldn't want to um, give uh, too much details on what's coming but I can tell you the one that surely is coming to Malaysian market is the A620 MHDV M.2 Plus, which I think is the best value for money. The higher end A620 will be very close to the B650, which I feel um, may not be that worth the price, while the lowest one is the cheapest. But personally, I feel that it's better to fork out a bit more to get a motherboard that has VRM heatsink and supports more CPU. So you can in future if there are better CPUs with a higher power draw at least you are able to use it as well. As for the price, I'm not going to tell, reveal the price here. Um, just in case you didn't know it yet, 
I'm the person who determines the MSRP. Um, the approval goes through me. And But to tell you about the price, I'll leave it for my distribution channels. What I can tell you that is that the boards will be affordable and that you can channel the money to a better memory kit or greater storage or higher up CPU, uh, a step or two upgrade, who knows. Then, yeah, I think it's this um, A620, I'm actually looking forward for it to land in Malaysia and will definitely, I, I think there's definitely going to be uh, some uh, pick up in momentum for the AMD AM5 systems. And with that done, uh, I hope this video is informative to you. Uh, yeah, do leave your thoughts and comments on the A620 uh, chipset things down below. And before we I sign off, let me show you this table. This is part of AMD's press release a presentation to show you the difference between the chipsets from X617 down to the A620. And with that done, I'll be signing off. Stay curious and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.